And you can activate this before dodging or during the dodge, so you leave your trail behind and uh, every enemy when you dodge inside them will get uh, a boon corrupted transformed in uh, burning in a uh, cripple torment and also will afflict burning to them and uh, it uh, can uh, hit multiple times on the same enemies and has no target cap and uh, it sometimes uh, is showed in your top spells uh, in damage on your arc dps so it's very strong then we have well of corruption this is another one very very strong skill and uh, it gives you some life force uh, but mostly it's uh, it's used for this damage and the bone corruption because uh, it's five targets for five seconds one every pulse remove one boon per target so it's uh, five up to five every pulse so maximum 25 20 30 30 boons then we have ghastly bridge it's a very 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 strong elite skill it's another huge away bigger than wells on you can't place it it just places uh, above uh, below yourself below your character and um, it converts every boons on enemies one per second on five targets into torment and cripple also giving might and applying slow which is a really huge skills a really huge condi since it's low skills uh, it's the opposite of quickness and also applies burning it's really used you should use it when you are sure it sure you can hit it you double dodge into your enemy's blob and then uh, you activate this if you know they are they're out of dodge and they can tank it all it's also a big damage uh, the only bad thing is, uh, is uh, that it's not unblockable as the wells but it still is uh, a really huge skill then about the equipment as you see I reach 48% uh, critical chance because now I have major borderline bloodlust the food just ran out but it was a power food that didn't have precision so uh, I counted the bloodlust in the, while uh, gearing up because uh, it's always it's always uh, up the, at least the minor borderland bloodlust. So the calculation I made were with the minor borderland bloodlust. You might need uh, like twenty more precision to reach a uh, hundred percent critical chance, but you don't need it. I think it, because it, it's really minor bloodlust is always up. So let's see. The rune is scholar of course for the since it's the highest damage output and uh, you have lots of barrier and you can stay above 90% HP really easily with your supports. So the headgear is Valkyrie. Then we have Marauder Night Fury. Then Marauder Chest. Marauder uh, Valkyrie hands, Marauder legs, and the boots are Valkyrie too. I recommend using Mighty WBW Infusion because uh, you can get up to 90 power if you have it on everything. So it's uh, it's suddenly some damage. I don't get why you shouldn't do it. It's uh, really just some laurels you don't need. Then you have hacks. Axe, the best skill in the game for Necro is uh, probably Axe Spell 3. It affects 5 allies, 5 enemies, sorry, 5 enemies. It cripples them, it deals a huge damage, and also if they are below 5, uh, 50% HP, it also triggers a second explosion, which at each explosion, each explosion targets 3, tar three enemies. So it's a really huge damage and it also converts one boon to conditions so it's a really really huge skill then in offhand we have a dagger uh, on axe we use sigil of force berserker stats ascended of course on the dagger we use um, sigil of absorption since it steals three boons when interrupting a foe and in world versus world this is this has no cooldown so it can really help you with your strips since you can uh, interrupt enemies with 
f4 with uh, f3 uh, f2 with the axe 3 with dagger 5 with scepter 3 with one well of corruption so you have lots of immobilizes i think it's really worth i usually get really huge numbers in my strips as i will show in some videos later on then uh, we were talking about dagger the skill 4 on dagger is not the best skill since it's blocked by it's a projector it's blocked by walls of reflections uh, warrior bubbles and so on but it's still uh, a minor skill you can use uh, when you have some condies or uh, you don't have any spells left to use the interesting thing is the enfeebling blood the skill 5 since it's a big aoe which applies weakness which is really strong conditions since it uh, removes endurance regeneration by 50 percent and also it applies bleeding for a really long time which will be cleansed of course but if it doesn't it will keep uh, in combat your enemy and do big damage over time even if you don't have condition damage 12 seconds it's really a lot and also converts a boon to conditions to enemies afflicted then we go on to scepter Zerker's, zerk stats berserker stats with four sigil scepter uh, has a strong out attack not really strong but it applies bleeding 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 poison so in it's not so bad but the strongest skills is uh, the scepter tree with the trait lingering curse since uh, it applies uh, a big damage and converts one boon to condition to five enemies aoe around on your target and on other four target around him so it's uh, really your, your bread and butter when you are in zerg fights you should focus on eating skill three of axe and skill three of scepter mostly after you've done with your utilities the skill do two is uh, a cripple and bleeding huge duration aoe it's not uh, the best skills probably but it's uh, it's nice it's an aoe it can be really annoying then on focus we have absorption 2 always berserker stats absorption for the same uh, motivations i gave before you have uh, scepter uh, focus 4 which gives you some uh, health and uh, a big life force 11 percent is really big but it's not really easy to hit it since it's a projectile and then spinal shivers which can do a really really huge damage if it hits an enemy on uh, which has uh, three or more boons the more boons you remove the more damage you do so it's uh, really important to hit it if you see some enemy for example which uh, is out of position you focus him you should aim to or when commander asks you for um, single target corruption you have to use skill 5 skill 3 and then axe skill 2 which uh, is uh, a big damage dealer single target it's channeled not really fast but it's a huge damage dealer then we can talk about the trinkets here I run without precision on the berserker on the Valkyrie backpack because uh, for the major bloodlust. It also works with minor bloodlust. You still reach a hundred percent critical chance when you have fury and when you activate have five. So you enter shroud and you get the thirty three more damage, uh, more uh, critical chance so here if you wanna be safe you don't have the bloodlust you need to run uh, or berserker or marauder to reach the cap the 100 percent then your trinkets can be the accessories both berserker your amulet berserker and then you have your rings which i recommend to infuse and attune so they can fit more mighty boo infusion and i think uh, it's worth as i said you can you must have them on valkyrie for the extra vitality so as you see i run with 24 
1000 HP, which is uh, pretty big, uh, considering the damage output you apply. So the food should be provided by your commander, but the, mas the most damaged food is the Dragon's Breath Buns. 200 power for 30 seconds on kill, no other food can give this, but the commander usually puts the food on the ground with 10% uh, damage uh, reduction, 100 power and 70 ferocity, which is uh, better because 10% uh, redu reduction uh, on damage uh, is uh, really strong when you blob and on squishy classes even more. And then I recommend using the potent, potent superior sharpening stone, they last one hour, but they cost less than the double of the superior sharpening stone, which lasts only 30 minutes. So yeah, it's, uh, it's more convenient.